For me, the most powerful means of communication that we have here in Aquaterra actually comes out of our safety campaigns. Safety campaigns aren't anything particularly radical in industry. We've all seen them and been around them. However, I like to think we do things a little bit differently here. For us, all the safety campaigns that, that we put out, talk to, and we do that every quarter, these are actually developed by the grads who, who go on a graduate rotation scheme here. And when they come into QHSE, which is within my team, for their part of their rotation, on day one, what they will do, they'll come and sit, sit with me, and at which point I will give them a topic. That topic's chosen by our safe committee, something that we think is really important that we need to be promoting with the organisation. And what I will do, I will challenge the grad to develop a poster um, in, in accordance with this chosen topic. Now, we're very clear about the, the criteria for the post, so hopefully some kind of catchy uh, title, and, and, but, and re starting really early to un make sure everybody reading the post understands why is this important to you and why is this important to Aquaterra. And within that post, we challenge them to come up with no more than three really important learnings that, that people should be taking away from the campaign. And then hopefully, within the, within the final statement, re reinforcing the, the empowerment to stop for safety. Um, alongside that, what we also do, we ask them to pull together four communications that we put out over the quarter to reinforce the campaign and to, to go externally and source some different forms of media to reinforce the message that we're putting out. The reason that we do this, actually, number one, obviously, is, is to promote something that we want to raise awareness about. Absolutely, and that's cool. But for the individual in particular, for us, it's really important that to have that opportunity to help them to understand how difficult it can be to communicate on safety effectively. It's one thing to tell people stuff, it's another thing to get them listening. And so to give them that ability to, to go out and discover for themselves, how am I gonna make this interesting to people? And they will go to places like the HSC website, they will go to places like Step Change and Safety and, and uh, IADC. But these are phenomenal means of educating the person with regards to communicating safety. And so far for us at Aquaterra, there's been a really powerful, very popular to our clients and our suppliers use these actively. And, and a moment of real pride for me at Aquaterra was for a big project we have ongoing in Angola, when our client came to us and asked us to get them all translated into Portuguese so they could use them, it was a real testament to the quality that, that we've had coming out of this initiative.